Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you can ask me anything. Go ahead. Leave a comment. Ask me anything. I'm here for you, as I am every week, if not every day across social. And while you're thinking of a question or actually typing it out, let me go ahead and tell you what I've already answered over the past week. Uh, this week's tech advice and opinions included why techies are complete suckers for online reviews, why technology doesn't help you be more healthy, how the lack of morality in the tech sector will destroy us, where can you store files safely online when you can't, and what Google should do to improve Android dramatically. Those are five posts I shared to patrons on chrisperillo.com. You can experience that stuff easily, as well as all the other stuff that I did for the patrons over there, chrisperillo.com. And on creatoradvocate.com, I shared entrepreneur or professional or creator advice, including why doesn't community move beyond a single platform easily? Should you buy an existing account? Should you buy followers? The answer may surprise you. It could be yes and no. What's the best way to manage your social accounts? And then, is getting permission better than waiting for forgiveness? I've got my perspectives I shared uh, with the people over on creatoradvocate.com. Uh, I'm constantly dispensing advice, constantly dispensing opinions, uh, perspectives, and that's exactly what I'm here to answer for everybody today. I, I am asked uh, very frequently what my favorite gadget is. And I am here to answer the question, what is the best gadget I've seen all year, and I've got it. Right here, I know what you're thinking. It is the brand new from Sphero BB9E app-enabled droid that I unboxed over on the Star Wars Radar channel. I've been uh, building up that new YouTube channel specifically for Star Wars fans. We've got about 48,000. We passed 48,000 fan followers on Twitter at Star Wars Radar. No, it isn't this. I've only had a chance to unbox it. That was, of course, recorded live and also posted in a higher quality. It is also not the app-controlled R2-D2, also from Sphero. They send it to me. I also unbox this one in the Star Wars Radar channel. Uh, can't wait to start playing with them, but Force Friday was over the weekend, so I didn't have a chance to dive into this Star Wars technology. So I don't want to disappoint you, uh, not to say that these things are not outstanding, because they absolutely are. These are amazing! But I am going to um, tell you that the best gadget I've seen all year, by far, has to do with a fascination I've had ever since I can remember. I uh, have long been a geek and have enjoyed a certain something in my life. Uh, no, it isn't uh, uh, anything to do with a personal computer per se. I mean, it, it is personal, and I'd imagine it is a computer. It's an electronic. Um, this is something that I had a chance to play with just about an hour ago, and I'm so in love. I love this thing. This is this. Uh, so Hasbro uh, sent a, a box to me, I also unboxed that in the Star Wars Radar channel, uh, with a bunch of their new toys, but a lot of their new toys uh, include the feature to enable the Force Link activation. So effectively, you wear this gadget on your wrist, and they made it specifically for adult wrists and kid wrists, we tried it on Jedi too, and as you play with over 30 different toys, uh, it basically activates a sound for that specific toy you're holding onto, figures and vehicles. And uh, so so this is the most amazing gadget I've seen all year because I have been a fan of Star Wars figures forever. And going back to the very first Star Wars figure I ever owned that I still own over there. Ah, this is so cool. So you got to check this out. Okay, so I'm going to put it on. You can get this. It's really easy. In fact, um, if you're not dropping it on the floor, you can continue the video that you're producing. The uh, 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 th This current uh, device is mm, probably going to be going on sale soon, but you can get a $10 off coupon on certain cereal boxes. I shared the link over on Star Wars Radar. Okay, so I've got my Force Link band right here. See, just like just like this. It's, it's like, uh, what was that guy's name in the, the Wiz? It's so rad. <laughs> like the Power Glove, the Nintendo Power Glove. Never had one. I'm activating it. Hang on. So uh, this is the starter set. It comes with a Kylo Ren figure. And uh, I like this Kylo Ren figure. It's a variant. The cloak does come off. I just posted a, a picture of him over on the, on the social accounts because I, I had it in a funny pose. And I enjoy toy photography very much so. Uh, so this is, uh, this is Kylo Ren. So if I'm... 
going to I'm going to hold on to these instructions here. I mean, they're simple directions, but there are some tips. So effectively, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, you kind of gotta hold them the right way, seemingly. Uh, oh wait, is it on? Oh, I don't think it's on. Oops. There we go. It was off. Okay. You gotta move it around fast. It says here. There we go. And then. So the figure talks. And then you can move them all. Wait, you gotta hang on. You gotta hold it just right. This seems to be in contingent on the grip, including uh, and that was included in the directions too. So I I I literally could be holding it wrong. But let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the stormtrooper here. Trooper reporting for duty. See, it automatically knows what the figure is that you're holding on to or, or, or nearby. And then let's see if I can get it just right. I'm kind of holding it. At a, oops, at an angle. Trooper reporting for duty. See it. Yeah. Star Wars figures back in the day, man. I never would have slept. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's see if I can get his lightsaber to activate here. <laughs> now, what's so cool is yes, this device you know works when it's on your wrist. Uh, but check this out. So if you walk into the store like this, people will probably give you strange looks. They stopped giving me strange looks a, a long time ago. But you can actually try this on figures inside the package, so long as they are Force Link activated. So, like, I did it here. I can fix anything. She can fix anything. It's Rose. I can fix anything. Yes, she can. Uh, and in case you're wondering, what does this have to do with tech? I just want to point out something. This is Resistance Tech Rose. See? Resistance Tech. There's tech in the video. There's tech on my wrist. Uh, this is amazing to me. It's the most amazing gadget I've seen all year because this is what I grew up with. This is what I've I've always enjoyed. I've never um, I've never departed from that fascination of figures. So to be able to have these figures basically come to life. Let's see if I can get a sound. I can fix anything. Yeah. What'd she say? You know, this would be a great way to demonstrate these figures in the store. They should actually have one of these things on a tether so that people could actually try them. Um, Trooper reporting for duty. See, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. Stand Isn't that amazing? So, um, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go ahead and take this off because I'm breaking a sweat under my wrist. Uh, but uh, this is fascinating to me because this is happiness right here. And if technology doesn't make you happy... You shouldn't be using it. It shouldn't be anywhere around you. Technology should make you happy. It's an enabler. Um, this looks awesome just sitting there, right? And people wonder, oh, what is that? What's going on there? Uh, but these figures themselves also look astounding. Like just sitting there, just just or standing there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these to, to balance appropriately. Oh, there we go. Let me go ahead and stick this. I don't know if you knew that uh, you could do this with the weapon on the side. And this is the, the case for the uh, new uh, First Order Stormtroopers as well as the previous wave. You can actually uh, attach the weapon uh, to a holster there on the side. Um, but uh, they, they look they look nice just kind of standing there. Again, when they're balanced, sometimes you got to get their legs just right, uh, of course. But here's how you detect whether or not a figure is enabled uh, specifically for uh, the Force Band. Or... Force link. I've got to be specific. I'm going to go ahead and lift these figures and show you on the bottom of their feet, uh, specifically on the, the I, I guess, the tip of each of their uh, right feet, you'll see this uh, symbol. The force link symbol, I'd imagine, is what it is. Um, I, I have no other word for it, but this is this uh, very... Uh, hidden blue marker this that's that's on the bottom of the feet where we used to write in marker our initials if we were afraid of con confusing our figures with you know a friend's figure or a brother's figure or a sister's figure um so it's unobtrusive and that i really appreciate because i don't like any kind of technology just you know slaps you in the face with technology technology i hate that i don't want to like stare at gadgets all day long it's one of the reasons i don't spend much time in this room specifically, you know, on any kind of uh, traditional computing system. Also a reason why I happen to like gadgets like this. They work, but the technology makes them work like magic. I like technology that is indistinguishable from magic and, and have ever since I was a child. So the technology that they've built into these figures 
works well, but you don't necessarily need the Force Link system in order to enjoy the figures. And that, to me, is amazing technology. It's it's an option, but it enhances that play value. You could get it. You don't have to get it. But it's something that will make the experience of playing with the figures that much greater. What they could have done was they could have integrated the sounds and the figures, and that would have driven up the price. And, and to me, kind of driven down the value, uh, you know, in terms of the value of these figures. Because they work well on their own. And that's why I enjoy figures. You don't have to tweak them. That's it. It's working. That's it. And then when I want to play with it, I can play with it. Like, with the, the, the technology or not. Because it's in, it's in the figure. No batteries required specifically for the figures. So whatever they did, however they did it, it's, uh, to me, indistinguishable from uh, from Magic. And, and I'm very, very happy to see a uh, Resistance Tech Rose. Tech, 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 tech. Some people can't get enough technology. Uh, but to me, it's, it's not a destination. Uh, it's an enabler. And so this technology enabled me to enjoy these toys in a different way than I have ever enjoyed uh, Star Wars figures before, or even vehicles, uh, which I wasn't so much a, a fan of growing up uh, as much as I was figures. So uh, I'm going to have a blast uh, with my uh, Force Link set. Uh, now I can put to rest any question uh, in terms of what is my, uh, the, the, my gadget pick of the year. That's it. It doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be terribly expensive. It just has to bring happiness to you. Because honestly, if that technology that you choose is not bringing happiness to you, if it doesn't have lasting value for you, I, I'm not sure if it would qualify, or, or in my estimation, it ne wouldn't necessarily qualify. Uh, after the Force Link goes away and, 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 and I'm good to go, that figure still stands. And it still looks amazing. And it still has technology incorporated, but you don't know what's there. Uh, that's magic. That's happiness. This is happiness. Man, if you don't find your happiness sooner rather than later, I'm telling you, man, keep looking for it. It may be in Star Wars figures. You never know. Ah, once you start, you can't stop it. Let me tell you, you can't be a completist. This is making me so sad, but I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm sad that I can't be a completist, but I'm very happy to have the technology here at my fingertips and an amazing play experience. You know what, Kylo? Ben... Uh, I am going to stand you up. I think the, the fact that you're holding onto your lightsaber is throwing you a bit off balance. There we go. I can get him to stand. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Uh, you can you know continue to follow across social. Chris Perillo is my handle. I'm everywhere. Uh, the uh, Star Wars Radar channel, of course, is going across social. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, the group is going like gangbusters. <laughs> It's turning off after five minutes, uh, which means I've been talking a while. Hey, what do you want? I'm excited about something. I'm telling you, this is what I like. You can't get mad at me if I'm telling you what I like. And it had to do with technology. Ah. So, um... Thank you for asking questions, too. I've, I've had a, a few good ones come in. I'm about to record uh, another video in uh, the uh, Locker Gnome Tech channel for everybody to take in. That one is, is also free. Of course, we're posting uh, fun stuff for patrons on geekfamilyfun.com. If you missed the vlogs, they're still there. Um, I mentioned chrisperlo.com, creatoradvocate.com, starwarsradar.com. Become one of those 48,000 followers, unless you don't like Star Wars. At which point I'd ask... How did you make it this far into the video? <laughs> hey, you know, good for you. If you made it this far into the video, uh, go ahead and leave a comment with the word... Let's see here. What can I think of? A word... Hang on. I'll come up with a word. I'm just going to open it up to a random page. Here's the random page. Uh, how about Indiana? Because that's Marion from Indiana Jones. Could you do that? Indiana. Work that into a comment. Uh, this is the Damsel Free ABCs, by the way. Just a little bonus thing. Uh, they never actually sold these. I got this as a gift. It's basically uh, female uh, heroes uh, that never needed rescuing. And uh, originally illustrated and, and, and uh, written by a couple of local geeks. I got it for Jedi. And myself. Uh, thank you, everybody. I love you. I appreciate you. I will see you in this channel at some point. In the, in the coming week, I got my next vegan vlog happening. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm all over social with Star Wars Radar or Chris Perillo or however you want to follow me. Find the links in the description. I love you. I appreciate you. And may the Force be with you.